Hi, Ron. Good morning. Good morning. So uh, today we're going to continue uh, coding. Uh, do you remember what we did last time? Don't yes. assume so. <laughs> <laughs> so I will share my screen now and we'll go over. I'll try to recall. Yes. What were you saying? I will try to recall. Ah, OK. Uh, so this is the notebook we were working on. I will first I will just run everything that we did so we'll have uh, everything ready for us. So I go here, run all. Uh, now you know uh, what it does. It downloads all the data set of the programming. We also uh, arrange the data set in a certain way. We define many functions and we were in the middle of uh, the gradient descent algorithm which is uh, our training. Yes. Okay, so uh, if I refresh here, you will see that, uh, you see, the data set was downloaded, mm -hmm. uh, unzipped, everything was done for us. Mm -hmm. um, we have a table of contents of this uh, notebook. We were dealing with the gradients. So let's see. Um, I will make a small room. Okay. Uh, just yeah, and we decided that you're not delving into the depth of the formula. We shall just believe you. Yes, yeah. you great. decided. You decided that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I told okay. you the stories of my mother-in-law said I already. Uh, took care of my, <laughs> I raised my children. I don't need to do it again. <laughs> I, I think uh, you come to the stage in life, you don't need to do it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, we were uh, defining this function, which we call train. Uh, this is our data set. Uh, just remind, uh, let's remind us of what is the data set. In, in our case. You mean both X's and Y's? The exactly, it's just a list of pairs. Images X and, and y. identification, yes. What, what is X and what is Y? X is 200,000, no, no, 120,000 uh, right. <laughs> uh, bytes. Vector, so it's, it's a vector, vector of yes. dimension vector, of yes. uh, 120,000, right? Yeah. What it represents, it represents a flattened images. Uh, image, right? Yes, images, including the colors, I understand. Three including three. the colors, right? And why? And why is a vector, of, is, uh, not, not, it's zero, one vector each time, right? Which indicates? Cat or dog. Exactly, only cat and dogs. What is the epochs? Oh, I, I, you have to remind me. Uh, I don't know, this is the, the, the number of, I don't know why you call it epoch, so, but never mind. Uh, it's not my uh, name, actually, it's uh -huh. a convention. Uh -huh. Okay, I, so I it's use the number of iterations you do in each uh, the gradient step. Um, uh, it's the number of times we go over the entire data set. Yeah, you move, uh, you're on the mountain, and you move slowly, step by step, and you do it 70 times. Yeah. In our case, it's the number of steps of the gradient descent. Sometimes yes. it's, it's not exactly the same, but in our case, it's the same. What yeah. is LR? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> forget. L learning rate. What is it? Learning mean? rate, it's, it's a parameter uh, that defines the size of the step in each gradient descent. Uh, 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 yes. Right? Okay. Which is very important. I mean, you don't want to jump too too far. Exactly. You don't want to jump over the top, and you don't want to to converge too so slowly. So it's kind of a trade off between two yeah. things. Uh, what is these parameters? Oh, ah, I remember there is something. Ah, you don't display every step. Only only tenth. Yeah, yeah. It's just for the. A person who runs a training who wants to see what's going on, it's uh, yes, the period. You don't need to do every, you don't want to yes. check. It's yes. so, check. Yes, okay. I've been thinking about this code and I thought it's going to be much, much uh, 
more efficient and easier to program if we'll use a, a matrix, matrices operation. So I mm. would like to, to change something here with your permission. Of course. Uh, instead of working with the data set all the time, mm -hmm. I want to, let me explain what I, I mean. Um, we have the data set is the pairs of uh, X and Y, right? Mm -hmm. Um, many of those. Um, and each uh, X is a very big vector, right? Let's uh, mm -hmm. yes. draw it like that. And each Y is a very small vector like that, Ooh. right? Two dimensional, yes. Okay. Yeah, two dimensional. What I would like to do is make one matrix of all the axes, like this will be a column of this uh -huh, matrix. Yes, yes. So I will have a very big matrix with a dimension. A, the number of lines or the rows will be n, the, the dimension of the vector. And this, I will call it k, the number of uh, samples in my data set, OK? Yes. And it will be just uh, like that. I will call it a capital X, OK? OK. And uh, also, I will uh, make a capital Y, which will be the same for Y, but it will be much smaller. It will look like that, right? Yeah, OK. So it will be a 2 by K, right? Mm -hmm. OK, so let's start with that. It's very technical and simple. Um, Okay, so um, let's call this a function. Sorry, I'm in Hebrew. Uh, uh, extract, extract, I will call it XY. I'm not sure it's the best uh, name. And it will get a data set and it will return me those matrices, okay? Mm -hmm. So first, I will uh, make a place for... You X. make one matrix of capital X and capital Y. Exactly. Uh, distinct yes. matrices, or you join them to one somehow? No, distinct. Two, one matrix I will call capital X and the oh. other capital Y. OK. So uh, you remember what NP means? It's the NumPy library we use all the time for matrices okay. and for tensors. Sorry, what is it? Is it a number? When I, whenever I write NP dot, mm -hmm. I'm using utilities that I am importing from the NumPy library. NP is a library. Yeah, it's a library for okay. a numerical calculation of uh, tensors. On matrices, okay, and tensors, okay. And the, here I will just uh, write empty. This is a, an uninitialized matrix because at the first, I will just make a place for everything. I just need to give it the size. So the size will be N by K. But we didn't define K, let's define K. Uh, I will define it here. K is the number of uh, uh, samples in our data set. So I can define it as follow, DS, uh, len of the data set is DS, mm -hmm. and let's say write it just a minute. Uh, number of uh, samples in data set. Mm -hmm. uh, just a minute. And uh, the, what is the, the F? What does the F do there? Um, the F at the beginning of the string mean it's a formatted string. That what okay. allowed me to embed the variable inside. Okay. Like the K and the, the value of K and N are embedded inside. Okay. I, I will run it now. It says the X dimension is what we thought it is. And this, the number of samples, we have 200 uh, images labeled images, okay. okay? So we have K and we have N, 
And now I just uh, uh, made uh, an empty matrix, uninitialized one. And uh, what will be the same thing for Y, what will be the dimensions? Two, what do we do? Two by K, right. Two by K, okay. yes. Okay, now what do I need to do? I need to uh, run to iterate over all the data set, right? Mm. Okay, so I will make a loop for X and Y, right? Mm -hmm. In, because it's data set is, is made of pairs. Mm -hmm. we, we've did it uh, before. So okay. we iterate over data set and we take X and Y, what do we need to do? We need to set the ice color, as, I mean, this is, I will write it and then explain. If I'm on the ice column, or maybe let's call it J, in order for not to be confused, this will be X. But I didn't define J yet, right? Okay. I will just, uh, ah, maybe you are not familiar with this uh, uh, well, two dots. Yes. Are you seen it already? No, no, but uh, no. you're, uh, no, I don't know. It's, uh, you're meeting the, the row and you're mentioning only, only the column. What I wanted to do here is assign a complete column of X, of the matrix X. So I gave it the index of the column uh -huh. and uh, the, this is called comma in English, right? No, it's something else, I forget what it is. Yeah. Two, two dots. Column. No, two dots is column. No, no not comma, uh, column, columns, column. right? Yes. Yeah. yeah, the column indicates uh, the whole, uh, all the indexes. Yeah. So this is actually a row, a, a column. Yes. Yeah, all the I's and one J. Mm -hmm. And the same goes for here, x row y. Um, but I need an index, I need j, right? I don't have j yet. Uh, for j, right. I want... I mean, it's x, j. But j is not defined yet. I didn't define the, who is j. So it's I want J day, to be the iteration number of the of this loop. Okay. And so let me teach you something that I haven't uh, done before. Look, look. If I do something like that for X in, uh, are we uh, one and seventy? And this is the regular loop. Here you have nothing new, right? What will be the output of this? Uh, and also for x in, he will print all three things, or he run 17. Yes, exactly, exactly. Or run and 17. Okay. Now I will add something that you haven't seen before. I will add a numerator. Oops, sorry. If I um, wrap it in a enumerate, I will get an index also. Enumerate gives me another variable that counts the iteration number. I will run it now. You see what happened? Okay. So, so every time he does something, he enumerates it. Okay. Yeah, it just uh, it counts the iterations. Yes. And put them in a variable. So let's do the same here. Um, we have a, a loop over data set. Let's wrap it in a numerate. And now I will have J. I can call it whatever I want, but I need to tell him that this pair is actually a tuple. It's it's just one variable. Okay. Uh, otherwise, it, it, it will uh, co be confused. Mm -hmm. So 
now everything should be working. All I need to do is uh, return X and Y, the two matrices. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, I believe you. Yes. A bit. <laughs> yes. a, a bit of sense. I, I wouldn't be able to write it myself, but okay. Uh, well, uh, the idea is we're recording it in uh, YouTube and uh, a person can stop and play with it and come to it again. Okay. Some people prefer me in YouTube than in person. Yeah. Be because okay. they can... <laughs> yeah, they can repeat, yes, I know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, I just uh, run this cell, so extract x, y is defined. Let, let's see if uh, we did a proper uh, job. So I, I'm putting X and Y and I'm calling this extract uh, X, Y and give it our, our data set. Our data set is DS. And we have a bug. Uh, the bug is that what did he say? Value error could not broadcast input array from shape two, uh, one to two, okay. So we have a mismatch of uh, dimensions mm -hmm. in in Y, you see? Uh, Python is very explicit, it's what bothering him. I wish every person would like that. <laughs> okay. uh, so let's see, so the, the dimension didn't did not match. This is a, he was expecting this and he got this. A, why? This is because the way we a, constructed the data set. Let's see. Where did we construct the data set? Low data set. Did you see what we did here? Yeah. We made a matrix, a matrix of two by one, right? Mm -hmm. Let's do it uh, simpler. Like, let's do it like what he expected it to be. Just a, a regular vector without, not, not as a matrix, as a vector. Much simpler. It, it used to be a column vector, but now it's just a vector. Okay. Error well, vector, and I will run it. I redefined uh, the function load data set, but I need to call it again. So I'm calling it again here. Okay. Now let's, you, you see this printing here, and it says the shape was two by one. If I run it again, I will, I should see the, the new shape, which will be two by nothing. Oh, you understand? Two by open, what do you mean nothing? Yeah. I, I'm running it. I'm gonna, I, I'm expecting this to change. Okay. Okay, let's run. Okay, so it, now it's simple, it's just two. What is the empty space? Seen yeah, that, that it can be anything? Good, that, that's a good question. It's just a representation of uh, this library, NumPy, of a, a vector which is not a matrix. It's just a representation of a vector. It, it is not uh, considered a, 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 raw a, a raw matrix, but just a vector. It just... Uh, so if I omitted the comma there after the two. Yeah, the comma, is, it means it's it's two, but there's no other dimension that we care of. Something like that. I, I agree, it's not very... No, 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 I just want to understand. I'm not complaining. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, let, let's... Uh, now we'll try to run it again. Before that, it didn't run, right? You see the red here and the red here? It means it didn't run uh, properly. Let's try again now. Now it ran fine, it didn't complain. Let's see if uh, everything worked fine for us. So 
I will ask about the shape of X. What do I expect to, to get the shape of X? One vector. It's a matrix. It's a matrix of all the images. Uh, capital X. Capital X is a matrix of K by one. Yeah, of so, N yeah. by K, exactly. Let's see. It's a, this is the dimension of the vector. And this is the number of uh, images, right? Yes. Okay. It makes sense. Let's uh, ask, what do you expect of Y to be? Uh, two by 200. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Uh, we didn't uh, actually check the content, but let's hope it's fine. You know, in uh, programming, uh, every code is guilty until proved otherwise. You know that? I think you mentioned it, yes. Okay. It's important. Um, I can uh, uh, delete this cell. It was just for you to, to see what enumerate means. Okay, so I delete it. Delete what? This example we did with uh, enumeration. Uh, okay. It's, it's not part of our work. And here are the trends. So, now I'm going to use what we did. So I will write X and Y equals to a data, a, 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 the name of this function was extract, extract X, Y, and it should get So X, po, X comma Y is two separate things or a vector? X is the matrix and Y is the matrix. But they're the separate. Dimension, it will give you two things. No, completely separate. Yes. We constructed them separately. We return two values separate. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. So we now have X and Y. Uh, do you remember what that means? I guess NP is just the name of the library. Do you remember? Random, which means you you just um, pick by lottery, or how do you say? It? Yeah, exactly. Um, a Gaussian by Gaussian distribution. Yeah, normal distribution, right? And what is zero? What is one? And what is the two n? <laughs> uh, zero is the mean of the normal distribution. One is the standard deviation. Uh -huh. And uh, this is the dimension of the matrix that I wanted because W. But the, what matrix will it be? A zero one matrix? A, what kind of matrix it will be? It will be infinity to in, infinity. I mean, but the value you, you mean right, you you're you're taking a lottery here. You uh, yeah, but the range is minus infinity to infinity. And what do you get? I will get numbers. I will get ah. a, a, a matrix. A, of dimension two by n, which will serve me okay, as the way. Stop you. What does W signify? What is Sorry, it supposed what? to be? What is W is W supposed to be? W is our uh, weights. Uh, le let me remind you. Weights of what? Of the function. I will write it now. Remember f of x. F was the linear plus uh, smoothing. So, I, yeah, I, I will write it down. We have parameters. We 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 call the parameter W, and uh -huh. the function was a uh, softmax. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. W is the matrix you are looking for. The matrix exactly. Of w weights. is actually okay. the matrix I'm looking for. Exactly. So remind me what is S M. Uh, I, I will remind you just a minute. This I is our. Is. I don't remember the word. It's softmax. Softmax. Okay. Yeah, softmax. It's you remember it's uh, exponential and normalization. Yeah, yeah, and normalization. Yes. Yeah. So and... yeah, our gradient descent is actually over the w. this matrix. Yes. Okay. Yes, yeah. yes. Okay. Fine. Um. Okay. So this is just the, um, oh, sorry, uh, just a minute. Uh, uh, do you? Okay. Um, this is uh, 
actually the initial point from where we start our gradient descent process, okay? Mm -hmm. This is the initial value for W, right? Okay. Okay, now we have a, a loop over all the epochs from uh, zero to 69, because we have 70. Mm -hmm. And uh, rem you remember what DW means? Uh, yeah, then that's the the derivative more or less. Yeah, uh, that's the gradient. It's, that's the yeah. gradient. That's the gradient. The derivatives, yeah. And we call a function we didn't uh, uh, write yet, called gradient. Yeah, and you we, wrote it. We, yeah. we send it data set, but now we'll send it x and y instead. Okay. We did it for that. Okay. Because I, I just told you it's going to be more convenient, but it's the same information, right? X and Y and data set is the same information. It's just okay. in the form of matrices. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yes, yes. And okay. now LR is the mitigating, so you don't want to go too far. Exactly. Multiply by the gradient. The gradient, yes. And do you remember what that means? Minus because you're um, the gradient going down, you want it to be right. Small. In the gradient descent, not ascent, uh, right? Yes. But what is this is like writing? I will write it explicitly in a comment. Just a shortcut we we were discussing last time. It's the same as W equals W minus. Okay. That's the same thing. I, I'm just writing it as a comment. It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, now, uh, the loss, we called another function we didn't write yet. And here also we will uh, send X and Y, okay? Mm -hmm. um, and this is just the printing every, you, you remember this is modulo? Yes, this is 10, uh, every 10 steps. Every 10 times I will display, and I didn't write this uh, function either, but this is just a printing function, very okay. simple. Okay. Uh, so uh, is it a good time to stop or you want to continue? Uh, I'd be happy to stop, I mean, I don't, <laughs> want to, I don't mind doing okay, it. Okay, okay, it, it is easier to digest a small uh, yes, lesson. Yes. Okay, fine. So I will see you last uh, the next time. Okay, see you. Thank you, Juan. Thank you. Bye. Bye. -bye.